Hello, um, welcome to another vlog. It's Friday, it's eight o'clock at night, and I've just got in from work, and I haven't vlogged anything this week. This week has felt kind of m crazy. <laughs> Don't really feel like I've had time to stop and think, let alone pick up the camera. So this week's vlog is probably not gonna be very much. And then I was thinking, oh, well, at least I'll have like all of Saturday to, to vlog some bits, but, we're now having some decorating done, so my father-in-law is going to be in the house probably most of the day. So, and I can't really stand there and talk to myself when my father-in-law is here. Uh, because A, he doesn't know I do YouTube, and B, that would, uh, would be quite uncomfortable and bizarre for him, I feel like. <laughs> I'm hoping he won't be here for long tomorrow, because I have a few things that I want to like do and film and I've kind of annoyed at myself that I haven't picked up the camera or anything at all because there probably was points in the week where I probably could have but I didn't it would be a bit boring and also if I jumped in and out too much it would be a bit too confusing for you all so I haven't and now we're at Friday at night and this is the first clip I filmed for the vlog oh and now the cat's screaming at me Well, I hope you've all had a fabulous week. And, wow, there we go. And that you have lovely plans for your weekend, whether that is having a home week, homey weekend. I just fed you. Um, having a homey weekend, or if you've got plans and you're going out with friends, or whatever you're doing. I hope you have enjoyed them by the time you've watched this. And also I said that I was going on a dog walk on the Sunday last week. We did do the dog walk, I didn't film it. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying now because I could have bulked out the vlog with that, but yeah, I didn't film it. But it was very successful. So basically, I don't know if I went into detail. Basically, we've got a new year holiday planned. Uh, let me just pop you down somewhere so I can talk to you. This is not it. <laughs> you can go there for now. Right. Basically, we have a new year holiday planned with two of our friends. And we're taking the dogs. So we've got a cottage booked in the Lake District for new year. Very excited. And we're taking our doggos. And neither of our doggos, they're not the best sister friends. So, <laughs> basically we got Delilah. What's this? Oh! Josh and Laura's wedding return invites say they're coming. That shows the last time I wore this coat. <laughs> Delilah doesn't really... It's not that she doesn't get on with other dogs. She just doesn't really understand how to socialise. Because we got her just before... We got her in February. Um just before all covid hit and all the lockdowns happened and we had so many plans for her to be like socialized we had her booked in for puppy school like everything and she managed to go to one puppy school class and then the lockdowns happened so she never really got socialized when she was a bubby which obviously has a massive effect on her as a now nearly three-year-old <laughs> so she doesn't really understand how to socialize with dogs she's quite a barky dog anyway that's kind of her response to things is to just shout uh which if you do that to the wrong kind of dog is not going to get the best reaction so it's made us quite nervous about taking her out in public walks can be quite stressful if she's in one of her moods um so basically we need to get her and bob to be best friends before we have to spend four days in the same house with each other. Now, was this a bit of a silly decision to book the holiday? No, I don't think so. But are we a bit optimistic about how close and of besties our dogs are gonna be? Potentially. However, we've taken them for walks together before and it's basically Delilah shouting at Bob and Bob wanting to play and Delilah not liking this fact because Delilah doesn't really like dogs close to her. She doesn't let dogs get near her to like give her a sniff or she doesn't go towards dogs to give them a sniff. She just doesn't get it. She will not go near them. Um, she gets very skitty. She, she Sometimes she like, she doesn't mind that they're there. Uh, once she's had a bit of a shout, she'll just be like, cool, whatever. Now just leave me alone. I don't care that you're there, but leave me alone. 
and that's kind of what the walks were like before we were doing them when you could meet people outside of your household that's what we were doing sorry we stopped recording because my memory card was full what was i saying yes we used to meet to go for walks in the park to try and get them used to each other because pup was kind of the same like hadn't really been massively socialized they were kind of the same so we were like we're in the same boat we'll go to the park we'll go for walks um and they were okay but they were stressful like they weren't a relaxing dog walk around the park however we decided one of our friends basically has a bit of land and has a field and it's very enclosed and secure for the dogs um and we decided actually it might be a good because obviously they were on leads when we went for the walks in the park we decided let's try it where they can both be either on a long line lead or off lead they're secure they've got space to get away from each other we'll be calmer because we'll know that they can't get anywhere there's not going to be any other random dogs randomly running up to them which is one of the biggest pains of my life so maybe it will be a better experience my god we had miracles happen on sunday they had their normal like barky well delilah had her normal barky reaction she kind of tried to show pup who was boss a little bit to make him aware that she was like don't come near me so we had a little bit of that at the beginning but we took delilah off her lead because she won't go for any any other dog like she will just go away and do her own thing and pup was on a long long line lead like extremely long line lead for the whole walk but once she'd done that it was like a change in the air happened and they were walking with each other delilah was still a bit jittery at the beginning if pup got too close she would kind of hop to the side out of the way or whatever and we did a couple about two or three laps of this field with them walking around and it was i honestly it was insanely good i was so proud and then we'd all stopped and delilah walked up to bob and went and sniffed his bum. If you don't know, that is a way of a dog finding out about another dog. She's never, never done that. She's never taken herself to another dog in a calm manner, sniffed them. So we all stopped and we were like, no one make any sudden movements. No one make any loud noises. Let her do her thing. And so she gave him a little sniff and then they walked together. I think we've taken a step forward and I'm actually not as nervous about this holiday now. So I think we're going to try and do that a few more times moving forward. Then bring them into a garden together of one of each. Like into our garden or into Bob's garden. Sam and Jess's garden. So it's a territoried place if that's the right word. And then bring them into a house together. Slow steps so that when we take them away on holiday together. They know who each other's who each other are they're calmer in each other's company i don't think it will be as hard when we're away because it's like neutral territory so it's always slightly easier to introduce in neutral territory territory because there's no protection or guarding going on so it's always a bit easier but i've i've literally felt like a proud mother she was so good and i feel like i've now rambled at you for nearly 10 minutes about the fact i haven't vlogged and how good my dog was on on this walk but at least it's some vlog content <laughs> amazing walk on sunday and then we went for a roast dinner um at a cute pub that we go to all the time and it was just a very wholesome sunday i had a bubble bath it was great do you want to say hello come here no okay and now here we are on friday come here then come here into the bin <laughs> yeah and i've just had a training day at work and then gone for drinks and i'm home ben is out having a curry and beer he's not drinking beer i'm pretty sure he's probably drinking porn star martinis do you want to play okay i'm coming and um, i've just rambled at you let's shut the company i've just rambled at you for ages so that's fun isn't it <laughs> where are you oh you've got a loo roll how exciting for you that's one of her favorite things is an empty loo roll she just rips it to shreds and then leaves it. So that's what she's doing right now, is ripping it to shreds. But I think she wanted someone in the room with her she did it. She's got a needy little uh, little dog. Yeah, so now I'm on my own. Haven't had any dinner. I need to decide what I'm going to eat. And wait to see whether Ben is like, can you come pick me up? Or whether he's going to get a taxi home. I should probably message him actually and ask. The front door is done. The windows in the front door is all finished. I will show you that in the daylight tomorrow because you won't be able to see anything. 
right now. We're now starting on the landing and the stairs. So that's what my father-in-law is coming around to do tomorrow is to line the walls ready to be painted and we need to sand down the stairs, rip the carpet up and paint that. And then the new carpet is being laid, I think at the end of the month. And then the hardcore saving begins for the extension, which is gonna be intense. <laughs> I've now been talking to you for over 10 minutes. So I feel like I can end that there. <laughs> and I'll pick it up tomorrow. I need to go play with my dog. She really wants me to play. What is that? What have you got? You got a stone? That's fun. That's exciting for you. Delilah? Drop it. Good girl. Hello. Hi. Can I have a high five? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, so nice. So nice. Do you want cuddles? Cuddles? You ready? I'm ready. Come back. Panda is from Ikea, uh, it's the only toy that she hasn't literally destroyed. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Put it out there, I'm actually currently obsessed with the Beetlejuice soundtrack of the musical. I want to go see the musical, I want to play Lydia. I don't know why I've never really watched Beetlejuice either. Also, is the play, like the musical, is that different to the film? Because I started watching the film the other day and was confused. Let me know. But I've just got home from dropping Ben off at work and I'm very excited because his customer has crocheted me three pumpkins. This is one of the small ones and a little hangy baskety plant. <gasps> so cute. And two little plant, like plant baskets. But I think I'm gonna use these for like hair things, I think. Haven't decided yet very cute and I'm very excited about it so let's go in the house okay so my camera just died but I wanted to show you the front door while I'm outside but I'm still in the car so that I don't look like a massive weirdo but look our windows are done the front door's in we have a massive skip but how like, I feel like the brick, even just the brickwork at the bottom makes such a difference to how the house looks in itself. But once the skip is done, we, um, we just need to sort the drive. But that is a problem for another day. <laughs> I swear, deep cleaning a bathroom is like the biggest workout in history. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. And I hate the smell. Like, a, like that chemically smell <laughs> makes me feel sick. But that's how I've been spending my day so far once i got back from taking ben to work i've just been cleaning the house and it doesn't look like i've done anything but i want to get it done because i really want to binge watch that the new um derma series i want to binge it and i need to watch it when ben's not home because ben doesn't like stuff like that so i have to watch it when he's not home and he is out tonight so if i start watching it this afternoon, then I can have a little like mental break when he gets home and then when I take him out, when I come back, I can carry on watching it. And I'm gonna get an Indian takeaway today because why not? We have no food in the house, Ben is out. I didn't eat any dinner last night. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered with anything. And I didn't want takeaway because I knew I was probably gonna have it tonight. So yeah, I just didn't have anything. I had a cup of tea and I went to bed. <laughs> live an exciting life. See, so yeah, I've decided I'm gonna get an Indian tonight. I feel like there's nothing nicer. I enjoy a takeaway more when my house is spotless and I can just light all the candles and put something on the TV and just chill and eat my takeaway. That is one of the best feelings for me that I just, that's true relaxation when I know I've proper gone for it and cleaned my house. <laughs> and then treat myself to a takeaway. And I feel like I'll have burnt all the calories that I'll then put on cleaning the house because it's hard work. Like I reckon that is how I lose any weight that I lose is by doing the housework. 
and hoovering. But yeah, that's your update. Um, the pumpkins don't have a home yet. I haven't finished the bedroom and I don't know whether to, I might separate them. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll update you later when I know. Okay, I will continue. The house is not clean, but I am pooped. So I'm gonna have a bit of a break. I have some lunch, I know it's three o'clock, but have some lunch, potentially continue. The problem is because the house is like a building site, in my brain, I'm like, hon, you're gonna do all of this and then within two days, it's gonna look horrific again. So I guess that is like probably pretty demotivating when you're <laughs> literally looking at me. It's bit, ugh, it's wet. Um, spending hours on trying to get something to look nice and tidy and feel homey when it ain't gonna last very long, let's be honest. Do I even have any pasta in the house? I don't even know. Oh. Oh yay, I do. I'm gonna make some cheesy pasta because I live like a uni student. Oh, I could put tuna in it, I'll put tuna. There we go. Well, my pasta boils. I have put one pumpkin on here. So we've got like a little Halloween chair. This is the bigger pumpkin. Like, it's, it's huge. It's like, it's bigger than my head. It's massive. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. Um, so he's gonna live there. And then I've put the two smaller ones running up the stairs. <laughs> um, <laughs> on the bed here. With, and then Ben's side now has the booby and my side has the pumpkins. I mean, ignore the cleaning stuff, but cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I put my fern here. Was in the bathroom, wasn't enjoying life. So I'm going to see if it enjoys life here. Put the little crochet plant up here. So cute. Thing is, right, I've got another two more crochet pumpkins coming. <laughs> because my mum's friend has crocheted me too. Gonna have to work out where to put those ones as well. I mean, there's worse problems to have. <laughs> there was something else that I was gonna talk to you guys about today and I cannot remember what it was. I need a nap. No, no idea. I'm sure it will come to me at some point. the state that I look but Ben has just told me that our wedding photos are back so we've connected the laptop to the TV and we're gonna look at them on the TV I'm so excited it's easy to look at them on the laptop hello yeah 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 okay cool where are you going to yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be there in a minute. So, we're now not looking at the photos until tomorrow. And I've got to sit here and torture myself knowing that they're on my laptop. And I can't look at them because Ben has now gone out. So, I have to be very, very controlled. <laughs> and not look at them. So, I'm gonna... I've decided I'm not in the mood for the Derm documentary. So I'm gonna watch, what's it called? The, the Midnight Club, has anybody watched that? I know it's meant to be another scary one, so we'll see how that goes. But it looks really good to be fair. Let me know if you've watched it and what you thought of it uh, in the comments down below, let me know. I'm probably gonna sign off here because of my 10 minute ramble yesterday. This is probably still gonna be quite a long vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's weird, weird vlog of two days and I will see you next week for the final Vlogtober but I think I'm going to continue doing weeklies because it's just brought back my love for it to be honest. So yeah, I will see you 
next week. Goodbye.